are going to look at how to do a slow zoom or a push into something. Uh, let's say you're shooting on the day, like this for example, and you see I did not zoom in. I did not push into the shadow in the back and then this uh, ribbon pushing out, you know, just for a little bit of dramatic effect. So let's say we want to create our own little slow push in or zoom uh, in Premiere Pro. So this is how you would, this is one way you can do it. Um, so let's go to the start of the clip. Boom, you want to go right to where it goes from black to clip. There we go. And up here, in effect, I'm in color right now, but you can be in effects, you can be uh, in either one, it makes no difference. So we're, all right, we'll do it in effects since I just clicked that. So what I want to do is over here you see position and scale. So I'm going to uh, click on a, this is a keyframe. So basically all that does is it tells, um, tells the system, hey, at this point, I want you here. This is good. This works. Now, what we want to do is go to the ending point of the clip, right? So we want to go till it's black, go back one. There we go. Now, how much do you want to zoom? So you decide that by this scale number. So we're going to go up. Let's see what looks good. I think right about there. Uh, let's go about 150. We want a nice slow zoom, right? We don't want it to look computerized. We want it to look like we did that on purpose in camera. So now you'll see two keyframes here. So what we did was we told the system, hey, start at normal. And then by the end of it, I need you in a bit tighter. So let's see how it looks. We'll go here, go to the start of the clip and nice, slow push in to the scary ribbon. And there you go. Now, let's say, for example, um, you also wanted to center it, right? So let's say this is obviously, that's pretty centered, but let's say we, we wanted to, the camera also slide up or down. So we wanted to tilt um, up or down as well as zoom in. Well, we're getting a little complicated, but that's okay. So let's go here, back up to the effect controls, you'll see position. And you see it's at 960, 540, that's standard. So we want it to be there to start, great. Tell the computer, this is where we are. Then where do we want it to be at the end? So let's go to right here. So we're at, we're at the keyframe again, right at the end of frame. And let's just say we're pretty zoomed in. Let's say I want it, I don't want it quite there, right? I want it to be, let's see, let's keep this, actually let's keep this one at 960, which is the original starting spot. And then let's, let's have it come up a little bit. So we're gonna go up. We're gonna go up just like that. And you'll see these, uh, you would lose some of the framing. That's okay, because in one of my prior videos, I showed you how to do the cinematic black bars. So here we go. So now we're coming in and it's the camera is moving up very slightly, very cinematic. And so let's, let me show you what I mean by the black bars. We're gonna go to our adjustment layer, which we've done before. Here, we're gonna go up to crop. Take that, pull it down on that adjustment layer, boom. And then remember to get that 239 one uh, widescreen ratio. We're gonna go at the top, we're gonna take away tw about, tw about 12, 12, 13, 12 again, boom. So now you don't see where we lost that frame, the bottom of the frame there. Now it's just a slow push, slow zoom. And remember it's, we had it rise up as well. So there you go guys.